I'm here today in Church Farm in Iworth in Bedfordshire talking to Peter Kendall, who is not only um, a local farmer, he is also the president of the Farmers' Union. Good morning, Peter. Good morning and, and welcome to this part of Bedfordshire. Um, being a farmer and understanding farming is an important part of why I do the job. So you must have seen a lot of changes in your farm here in Bedfordshire. What would your grandfather be saying about the farm if he was to be here with us? They'd be amazed by the lack of people and the size of the machinery. Um, when I first started farming 20 odd years ago, there would have been 14 full-time people on the farm. Today, a combine can do in an hour what it used to do in a whole day. Mechanisation and lack of people is a phenomenal change. And thinking then about the role that you play as the president of the NFU, what do you think is the most important part of that job? I think it's trying to convey to politicians, people who now are increasingly detached from the rural way of life and the activity of farming, um, what their decisions and what their policies, um, how they impact on our livelihoods. And there is a big disconnect. There's 60 million people now who increasingly live in very urban lives, detached from the countryside, and having to make sure we articulate and explain um, what's going on and why it's important is a major part of our work. Can you give us any specific examples of this at the moment? Uh, well, every day we're having another raft of regulation and how they interpret it that potentially could mean that large numbers of dairy farmers or arable farmers can no longer carry on farming as they have for many, many years. So it's trying to find pragmatic solutions to sort of bureaucratic diktats that come out of Brussels. And we have at the moment nitrate vulnerable zones, NVZ regulations that could really um, devastate many farmers in Bedfordshire. We have to make sure they're implemented in practical ways. Oh, and what would you say is the greatest challenge then in your, your role as president? Um, for, for me, it's, it's a, a, a fantastic opportunity for us because people are talking about food in a way they haven't done for probably even since the war, to be honest, and on a global scale. And you know, since I started doing this job over two years ago, the very simple challenge to me was to make government to make opinion formers, the media, understand that farming matters, that it's an important part of society, that actually thinking we can live from food that's imported from the four corners of the world is not a very sensible policy. We have great resources here in the UK and in Bedfordshire in our land, and we've got to make the most of it. And what part can the general public play in this? What they want to do is look for where their food comes from. You know buy locally, support local Bedfordshire farms wherever possible, and if not, move wider, move to East Anglia, look for your produce, look for where the farm it's produced on. And as a symbol of making sure it meets British standards, UK standards and traceability, look for the red tractor logo, because that means it is British, it does meet all our welfare and environmental standards that are imposed on British farmers, and that way you'll keep more farmers prosperous, hopefully, um, in Bedfordshire and in the UK. I understand that you used to be a young farmer here in Bedfordshire and that they've got a rally happening on the 17th of May at Shuttleworth. What are your memories and what are your um, thoughts about Young Farmers Clubs? The Young Farmers, for me, was a fantastic way of meeting farmers locally and throughout the country, actually. And it's a great leveller because many of them will tell you that I get above my, you know, you get full of the importance of a job I might do now. And having local people involved in farming really keeps your feet pinned to the ground. And you also have the feedback then of the problems people face, the, um, making sure that we give the right image to the public of what's going on. But what I learned out of Young Farmers was lots of skills. You know, it's a, a great opportunity to train, um, to public speak, to compete, to learn to lead people as well. And a message I, I know I gave when I wrote an article recently about this was what you can actually do is also make decisions. You can learn to lead people and actually if you make mistakes it doesn't matter too much. Whereas as you get on later on in life making mistakes has more impact. So it's a great way to learn to lead people and make mistakes. And it also sounds a lot of fun as well. I, I, do, is it open to people who aren't farmers, do you know? Um, yes, it is. It's open to, to all people with an interest in farming in the countryside. Um, yes, it's a lot of fun, but you wouldn't want me to tell you about that here, would you? Probably not. So thank you very much for your time, Peter. I've really enjoyed meeting you and thank you and good luck with the rest of your presidency.